did the job that we needed to do. And like I said, scored some fantastic tries, but also scored some hard work tries. But that's the way with the trainer, like I say, Kev takes the points today because his tries and assists and his kicks and it was outstanding. I thought John Mellon was tireless, as was Reese out of the back, and like Paddy Flynn was exceptional. Uh, he carried the ball as strong as I've well, ever seen him carry the ball. Going up against Huddersfield now and tough the week after. I mean, we know that there are going to be tougher, tougher games out there and we've got to perform better. And I say, I'd be disappointed if we haven't been able to perform because we've had a good off season, we're pretty solid in the way we've got about our selection and our work. And I say, we're not, not, we're not injured for it anymore, we've still got a number of players that are going to come back and be available to make us stronger. But, uh, our players have worked together quite a lot over the last, um, last couple of months. I think you'd see that out there today. Um, I don't, I think Alex Gerrard was really good. Like I said, I could keep going through it. It's good. Lloyd White's not had a lot of game time through the pre-season. He's not. He's been up and down and seeing it um, get through the game was um, was also pleasing. Danny Tickle played very well on this first game, and, and the, the goal thinking that it's going to be a bonus. Well, that, yeah, well, it's one of those things that you, you expect and watching him slide him over from the sideline. I was, I was watching practice yesterday and he was, he was pretty formless and just full of confidence and knowing that when no matter where you score your tries, you're always in a chance to take to six with Danny and when and you can keep going those six forwards, it's always, it's always a bonus for the team just to keep plugging away and that's, that's what Danny, well he's more than a goal kicker, like I said, we brought him here because his percentage rate is really high. And it, the fact that he works so hard and he's, ta like he's, he's fatigued when he's taking those kicks as well. I mean, to be as fatigued as he is and to work as hard as he does when we've got the ball and in the game and still be able to compose himself and knock him off from the sidelines is um, a big testament to how, um, how good he is at it. Would you rather be playing next week or...? Will I would rather be playing next week, yeah. I'm going to come through that pretty well and the confidence we could take out of it, we're going to have to drag it through. And I'd, I'd, I'd rather be playing next week, yeah, of course. Well, yeah, I think <laughs> I think if I sort of feel like they'd rather be playing this week as well. It's, well we're, we're hoping that Wigan can go and do a um, fantastic boost for the British game. <laughs> and we're all willing to, to play into that. And if they can go over to, to Sydney and get, a, and get a victory, and then come back up the way the game's rolled forward this last month or so. And, I know we've got, we've got problems, but I think we're starting to see that the game is very strong and the team in the game is very high and we just need to keep going after that.